If you drive an L400, this is gonna happen eventually. Gas, diesel, doesn't matter. This failure is common on both. Today I'll show you how to fix it without replacing the radiator. Now depending how the piece is broken off, if it's broken right into the tank, unfortunately you will have to replace the whole radiator. But if it's broken off cleanly like this one has, then we can fix it with some fairly basic tools. First thing we're gonna need to do is remove the old piece from the hose. The easiest way I find to do this is to use an old screw and a pair of pliers. First thing we need to do is remove the clamp with our pair of pliers. Next, we're gonna take our screw and thread it inside the piece that's stuck in the hose. And make sure the screw that you use is large enough to get a good bite. If it's too small, it'll just pull out. And then with our pliers, we'll slowly work it out. Make sure you get all of the old plastic out of the hose because it could cause you some problems if you leave a piece in there. It should look something like this. Okay, we've got our old piece removed and we've got the jagged plastic on the rad filed smooth. So now we're gonna need an 11 32nd drill bit and a 1 8 NPT tap to start a repair. Now you've probably guessed where this is going, except we've got one little problem here. There's absolutely no way to fit a drill with the drill bit in here and get a straight hole without removing a whole bunch of parts. So we're gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. No, this is pretty hokey. We take the 11 32nd socket, some hockey tape, and just pounded our socket down over top of our drill bit. But I'm doing this assuming that you probably don't have a right angle drill at home, so we're gonna have to make do with just some basic tools. This means we can now take our quarter drive ratchet, clip it onto our drill bit, and we've got a really rudimentary manual drill. Now, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I've got an air ratchet. If you don't have one, you still do it by hand. Just be careful. I still don't know if this is gonna work, but let's give it a go. That actually worked pretty well. So now we need our 1 8 NPT tap and our handle. If you don't have one, you can pick them up relatively inexpensive on Amazon or at your local hardware store. It's still gonna be a lot cheaper than replacing the whole radiator. And we're going to very, very, very carefully tap threads into this hole. For those that are not familiar with what NPT is, NPT stands for National Pipe Thread. And that means it's actually a tapered thread. So as you thread this in farther, it's going to open up the outside of the hole more than it opens up the inside of the hole. And for that reason, you need to be extremely careful doing this. If you go too fast, you could crack the radiator and then you're done, you've got to replace it anyways. So we're gonna go very slow back and forth as we go to make sure that we don't have any burrs and we cut a nice clean hole. But can we not use NPT where I live? I can't do this. Well, yeah, you can. Just use whatever that you got in your part of the world, whether it's DIN, JIS, or BSP. It doesn't really matter. The job is exactly the same. We obviously use NPT, so that means the next part that I needed to get came from my local hardware store right out of the plumbing area. Brass barb, 5 sixteenths, 1 8 NPT thread, and we're gonna thread this in the radiator. Of course, we're not going to use pipe sealant here because I want this fixture to be permanent. I also want to try and add a little bit of strength to the area. The plastic is really, really thin, so we're actually gonna use JB Weld. Once we've got a nice even coat of JB Weld on there, we're going to very gently thread our fitting into the radiator. You remember when I said that NPT is a taper thread? Well, that means that we're actually driving a metal wedge into a piece of plastic. So I can't stress enough when I tell you, don't over tighten this thing. Even a little bit too tight and that tank's gonna crack and this whole radiator's garbage. Once the JB Weld is fully cured, we won't have to worry about this part backing out. Now all that's left is to put our clamp back on the hose and put the hose back on the barb. You probably want to wait for the JB Weld to cure, but I'm impatient. And with just a simple trip down to the hardware store, we just saved a bunch of money by not replacing the whole radiator. So if you liked today's video, go ahead and check out some of the other videos on our channel. Otherwise, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.